Alright guys, it's Sticker Mike here from MikeStickers.com. Sorry for any wind noise behind me. I have a fan going on inside here because it's like a 110 degrees out today. Not literally, but it feels like it. So I'm going to show you all a, a cut line tutorial today of how I, how I do it. Um, I'm getting a little bit better with it, so... Uh, I'm just going to kind of show y'all videos every now and then to give you a, another look at it. <clears throat> Maybe you can pick up on tricks and tips on how to do things. So here's the image that I created. I created this in like, uh, I think it's called GoDaddy Studio. It's uh, just a little design software that's on, I mean, it's on my phone app, but I think that they have it for uh, PC based also. So this is the design that I came up with. And um, I have my contour adjustment column set up over here. I showed you how I do that before. I believe it's been a long time. I think believe I go to effects here, go to contour down here, not the contour that's in the middle, but the one down here, and it pops up this column on the side. You can adjust your offset in the different colors. Um, you have to make sure you have your rolling palette set up over here, which I already have done you can find a bunch of different videos of how to do that I honestly don't even remember right now I'd have to look it up myself so here's the design that I have you want to make sure that it basically fits the page that you have behind it so you don't have any issues with it exporting and like chopping off part of the page I've had some something weird like that happen before so once you have that if you need to you have to go to convert to bitmap but I already have it as a bitmap so I can go to trace bitmap because this is already lit up and gives me an option I'm gonna go to outline trace and then high quality image for this one uh, you can do different ones I'm not sure what all the differences are I was gonna trace the image for me the outline of it and it's gonna basically make a make it into I guess a vectorized image is what this is and I'm not a designer I don't really know all the terminology I just know how, how it works for me so this is from a, a layman's terminology, a layman's standpoint. So, all right. So now that I have this, what I'm gonna do is uh, I already have the offset that I want, which is 0 0.2. I'm gonna go apply. Now I don't really want the background blue like that, but I'm not worried about that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this. I'm gonna separate this off the page. I like to have them separate. Okay. This is what I'm gonna work with right now. So what I want to do is I want to separate out these two images because right now if I right click for the for the cut contour line it's going to go on the inside. I don't want it on the inside. I'm going to undo that. What you have to do is you right click right on the edge here where your cut line would be or right at the edge. You go break contour apart. Now I'm going to pull the top image off. I'm going to delete that. I don't even want it. Now this image, now I can right click once I've selected it. Right click on my cut contour line which is the magenta, 100% magenta. I'm going to turn it into a hairline which honestly I don't know that this matters but I do it because people say to. I've forgotten before and it seems to still work. And then I don't want that blue there. I want no fill. So now I'm going to select it again. I'm going to go to no fill, which is this little uh, white square with the line going through it. And now I've got the cut line that I want, but I've got all these nodes in here that I don't want, all these little extra pieces. So I'm going to get rid of these now. I'm going to click on this one here, which is to uh, get to the nodes or control the nodes. I'm going to delete these guys one at a time. And if you need to adjust your cut line and manipulate it at any point or for any reason, this is how you do it. You get in here and you can pull these nodes around, you can delete nodes, you can add nodes, and you can adjust the cut line if you're not happy with it. Uh, if you want it to be a perfectly straight line, like say at the bottom, you could go through there and delete all those ones so it's not so jagged and just make it a straight line. I'm okay with the way all that looks, I think. Alright, I'm gonna, but, I, you know, you can make it cut, I believe, smoother when 
you go in there and clean up some of this. Um, so if you zoom in, no, this looks okay. Sometimes there's cut lines that jump up and go straight up off, which make like a jagged edge, and you don't want that. It'll cut it jagged. So you kind of zoom, it's good to zoom in, move it along and inspect the cut line. Make sure there's nothing funky going on. All this so far looks good to me. Let me zoom out a little bit. Alright, alright, it all looks good to me. I'm gonna roll with that. Alright, so now I wanna go back to my select tool. I have that. <clears throat> I have my main image. Now, what I can do, for what I wanna do, I'm just gonna take this one, and then I'm gonna press Shift, select the other image. I'm gonna uh, click on the keyboard, I'm gonna press the letter C and then E and it's gonna center it and equal it. Now I didn't do it properly so I'm gonna adjust that myself. Alright, I'm gonna bring it all over here to the middle and I'm gonna put the cut line where I want it. It thinks the center of the page is not where the center of that image is so I'm gonna adjust it where I want. You can use the arrows on the keyboard to go up and down with it and do a fine adjustment. I'm going to look at everything and uh, decide how I want it. I think that's pretty much lined up pretty good right there. Uh, you got to look left to right, up and down. Now, you see how it's cutting way up in here next to the established and the 1979. I don't want it going way up in there, so I'm going to adjust that. So I'm going to go in here I'm gonna click to adjust the nodes basically I want it to end like right here I think so I'm gonna go in there and try to delete some of these and clean it up so that it doesn't so aggressively cut it in there now I don't know on another software that I have it would have made this a straight line across there I don't know why it didn't when I did that so I'm going to grab the, the corner there and pull it down. I think this will work. Alright, that's a lot better than how I had it. Oops, it's got extra it's got extra stuff there that I don't want though. See that? I don't want all that. So I need to clean up that right there. I think maybe if I add an extra node right there, maybe I can delete this one click off of it. Uh oh, there's a break where it's not going to cut. That's not good. So I need to pull this all the way together. And I need to grab this and maybe pull it over. No, I didn't do what I wanted. Let me see. Huh. Oh well. I think that's going to be close enough. That's going to be good enough for what I need. And then I'm going to fix it on the other side and do something similar. I'm going to try to make it just kind of cut off right here. Try to add a node in the center and hopefully that'll help to when I bring it all down. Add a node right there. Oops. I'll grab this node right here. I'm gonna bring this guy down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what do I do? How do I fix these guys? Oh, jeez, that's not what I wanted. There we go. That's better. Let me zoom out and take a look at that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, if I can kind of make these two, this and this kind of match a little bit better, I think that would be good. Let's see what I can do here. If I can maybe delete these guys here, make it straighter. This one comes up a lot higher. I don't know why that comes up so high. Maybe I can bring this one down. Yeah. Yeah, and it's more rounded. Is there any way I can round this one? Maybe not. is a little bit better when I do that. Okay. I think I like that. I'm going to go with that. Okay. So, that's the cut line I'm going to go with. So, what I want to do now is I want to group this all together. So I'm going to go click on one of them and go control all and then group it. Okay. And then I don't, I want, I want some green, but I don't want all that green. So what I'm going to do, all that I know how to do to remove it is go ahead and crop the image down. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't know how to do it yet. So I'm going to end up printing some green that I don't need that I will end up weeding out of the final image once I print it and, and cut it. But for right now, I don't know of a better way. So, oops, I didn't do that right. There it goes. I have to click crop. All right, so that's the final image that I'm gonna go with. Now I can export that to a ESP so that I can then bring it into uh, VersaWorks and then be able to print and cut it on my Roland BN20A. I'm gonna go to export and then I'm gonna do it under my own stickers. I'm gonna go Lake Georgetown. And it's an ESP, Encapsulated Postscript. And you can bring it into VersaWorks, and you, you'll be able to cut it at that point. Oh, I forgot one step, though. What I want to do that I forgot about is around this box right here. And let me see if it's going to let me do it right now. Right, around the outside here, I want to have a perf cut contour, and it's not going to do it right there. I need to do the box separate, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to bring this guy over here, and uh, okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it, a new one. I'm going to fill the whole color. Oops. All right, it doesn't matter what color it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click to get my perf cut contour. I'm going to make it a hairline. Um, I don't see the option to make it a hairline. I can't find it. Oh. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to fill the color on the inside. Oops. Okay, I didn't like that. 
There it is. Okay. All right. Got it. There's my hairline. I got my hairline. Now, I guess I can just use this one. I don't need the other one now. So I can put this guy back on top of this guy. Go center and equal. Oops, let me undo that so that I can bring this guy to the front. I'm going to go right click. I'm going to go to order. I'm going to bring it to the front of the page. Now it's going to be on the top. Now I'm going to right click here. Shift. Right. Er, sorry, left click. Left click there. Go center. Equal. And it's where I want it. And then I can go ahead and delete this one now. I'm going to go to control all. Group it all together again. Okay. So now see I've got the cut line on the inside that's going to be the magenta one and then the outside cut line is blue okay so outside cut line is blue inside cut line is magenta and now when I export it as an ESP I'm going to go back to the same Lake Georgetown override that one because that was a mistake okay so now when I bring it into VersaWorks, I can import it. I'm going to go to, down here to E. I'm going to go uh, to right here, Lake Georgetown. Open it up. Go to E. You see I have two different little A characters there, which means there's two different cut lines. When I go in and I look at my cut controls, I can go to cut only to see just the cut lines. If I click off of here, you can see I have two different sets. It gives me the option because if I only put the magenta, it would only give me this top option for doing the normal cutting. But because I also have the, the cyan, cut line it gives me this option down here for the perforated cut controls so you just set them to the appropriate settings uh, depending on if it's laminated or non laminated or the thickness of your particular vinyl and then you go from there um, the range that I'm using is somewhere around 120 for my uh, for my normal cut contour and that's with it laminated when it's not laminated I have it somewhere around 80 and then for my uh, perforated force, when it's uh, when it's not laminated, it's going to be around 195. And when it's laminated, I'm finding I need at least 235. Um, I'm having trouble with doing laminated though, so don't don't uh, go off of just my number. I'm just telling you a range that I'm in that I'm having to be in, but it's still not always working for me. So uh, that's what I got for you now, guys. Uh, let me know if you have anything that you need help with or want me to make a video about. Alright, y'all take it easy.